Hi, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on what time of day it is when you guys watch this. How are y'all doing? I'm, I personally, is, eh, surviving. Not anybody can do anymore. So, today I am finally going to start on my 2022 temperature blanket. Um, temperature blankets is where you take um, either the high or low, some people do both. And some do it by weather of that day. And you correspond it with a color you're on that you choose. And you crochet that color for the day. Um, I've done a couple in the past. <laughs> My very first one. Uh, I'm still somewhat new to crocheting. And I used uh, Red Heart Sa Super Save Yarns. Which I use for, for a lot of projects. <laughs> and I used a J-hook. Now, using a J-hook... It was not the smartest idea. This is a J-hook. Okay? Not the smartest idea to do. It's a pretty big hook for Red Heart. And, uh, and I was doing double crochet stitches. Needless to say, by the time I got done with that blanket, it was about 14 feet long. And maybe 4 or 5 feet wide. It was a really big blanket. <laughs> but... Hey, we gotta learn. We gotta learn from our mistakes. And then I made another one. I think it was the following year. I used a smaller hook. I think I used a five point five, so an eye hook. I'm not really sure. And I did the linen stitch. Length wasn't too bad. Unfortunately, I didn't chain enough, so it wasn't. It didn't look right because it wasn't wide. It did, the width didn't equal. Didn't look right for the length. So, again, we learn from our mistakes. And then the following year, I did a 12 point, um, 12 point star blanket. Sorry, I can't come up with my words today. And um, what you do is each point you do one month. Okay, so you, you don't got that many stitches to do each day. So, okay. Mine came out really cute. I love it. And, um... Only problem is, is the yarn I used for the center of it was actually a little bit thinner than the rest of the yarn. So my blanket doesn't sit flat no matter what you do. I cannot get it sit flat. I used to have it hanging on this small, but since we're moving stuff around, I had to put it up in storage. So I will show you guys all the blankets I made in the past, but um, the first two I donate, I give away. And then the third one, the twelve, the star, the yeah, the star one, whatever, <laughs> is uh, put up. So yeah, um, different pretty like are pretty fun to do. You just gotta, you just really gotta learn to do some math to figure out how big your blanket's gonna be. And I personally am not that good at math. So yeah, um, for twenty twenty one, I haven't done a blanket yet. I actually was, I'm actually doing a snake for 2021, and this is about as far as I've gotten. I have his head done. That's it. The head's done. That's as far as I got. It kind of looks like a duck right now, because I got to do the bottom piece still, but this one is real easy. One row per day, depending on how big your hook is. If done, yeah. I have no idea how big this one's going to be, so yeah, this is for 2021, and this is as far as i gotten. Eh, whatever. Um, for last, this is going to be my new color chart for upcoming temperature blankets. I personally like this color chart. So it seems to go slowly. I'm hoping this turns out the right way. If not, I'm sorry in advance. There we go. If you guys got to see it all. I really like the colors. They're really pretty. Um, I've always done rainbow colors. For the most part and I didn't want to do rainbow anymore um, this is a chart I'm using to keep track as you can see I've already I tried doing January for this year and it didn't look right it was already too big so yes yeah, so I'm restarting but it's up to date sometimes you're never done wrong but hey whatever um so yeah I am going to do the ripple stitch and it's 
I have already started. I did a couple rows. And it's not too bad. Um, I did my math. And I'm do using a 4.5 hook. Let me find the camera here. Can you see it? Come on. There we go. 7.7, 7, which is a 4.5 millimeter. Um, my, I did a gauge swatch or however you pronounce it, which I don't, not very good at, but we're going to roll with it. <laughs> um, to equal up to one inch, I had to do four rows. So that's your rows. Yeah. No, nope. four rows equal one inch. And to do the stitches across, um, it was four stitches to equal one inch. So I did for the rows, I did 365 days divided by the four. It gave me 91.25. So I took that divided by 12 to figure out how big it's going to be. Supposedly 7.6, 7 feet, 0.6. Will be true? I don't know. I will measure after I get done with month, one month and then times by 12 and see where I'm going to be if I'm even close to my math. And then figuring out how much to chain. <laughs> that was fun to do. So, what I did, okay, the pattern is um, the 16 plus 2 count. So, what I did is I did a row. I, I measured the 16 stitches. And that was 4.5. Okay, so if I'm doing each set, 16 stitches. So I figured, okay, we'll take that number and just time to time to I get a certain amount. I got up to 15 counts of the 16 sets. And it came out to 240 to chain with. The 240... Okay, hang on, I gotta redo my, reread my notes here. Okay, so this pattern is a set of 16. I repeated that set 15 times. So it gives me 240 stitches. And then of course, you plus yourself is 242. Um, so I took that 15, because that's how many I repeated it, and I times divided by the 4.5, because that's how much it is, how wide it is per, per set, and it came down to... 67.5 divided that by 12 and it gave me a little over five feet wide math's not my strong point so we're just gonna like i said we're gonna wing it um so yeah that's uh that's my plan um i'm hoping it turns out right i'm considering it's already may 9th yeah may 9th i don't even know my days anymore I am going to be doing a lot of crochet to catch up with, but I'm thinking, hmm, I want to do regular updates on how it's going with the blanket. Just trying to figure out if I want to do a video every seven, every week I hit, which will be 52 videos on top of this one and then I'll finish one. And any in between, anyways. <laughs> I talk too much sometimes. Or if I want to do a video every month until I'm caught up to this month, I'm not really sure what I should do. Hmm. <laughs> Let's do. I'm gonna do every seven day, um, every week. So once I crochet a week, I will do a video and I put it up here. So that means I'm gonna be doing probably be doing a lot of videos today, which is May 9th. I'll be doing a lot of videos because. I've already started and I'm almost done with one week. So, yeah. Um, but making temperature blankets is fun. You just got to find the right stitch you want and everything. Oh, 2020 I did a blanket. That's right. I forgot about that one already. Wow. That one is put up too. Um, I did... Um, what is it? Granny squares. I did one row yes I did one go around and then the second go around is when I joined it to another one and that was actually pretty fun except for all oh, the weaving in on the ends oh my god I got so tired of weaving in and ends up but it was good um 
So yeah, I say I'm a lot and I'm sorry for that. I will, at the end of this video, it will show, I will, uh, I will have um, photos of the previous blankets because I do have photos. But I don't know, I will just add them at the end of the video so you can check them out. Um, don't be afraid of a temperature blanket. Um, they're fun. Sometimes they're, you do get bored with them and you kind of just push them aside and forget about them for a year or half a year. And then you catch up on them. But anyways, they're fun. You just got to find the right pattern and just go with it. And obviously choose what colors you want. And yeah, if you go on Google, Pinterest, YouTube, obviously YouTube, um, you can find all sorts of versions people doing. This year, I've noticed a lot of people are doing the linen stitch, but it's in a square. Yeah, it was a square thing. Yeah, anyways. But, yeah, a lot of, I've seen a lot of people doing that one. It's pretty cool, so, yeah. So, let's have fun and do this blanket. And you're going to see a lot of me in this outfit because I have a lot of days to do today. So, yeah. So... Till the next video when you get to see this ugly face. Nah, I'm joking. Anyways, till the next video. I hope you have I hope you guys have a great day and I guess that's it. And like I said, then in this video, it will quickly go over to the photos of the previous blankets and you guys can check those out. They'll be attached to this video. I, I know I'm dry side. I'm good. I'm not good at this stuff. So uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.